Hello, I am Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. In this edition of PowerPoint Smart Art Tutorial Series, you will learn a few things you didn't know about Smart Art Table List, one of the most commonly used diagrams in Smart Art. You will also learn how to convert this text-based slide into this interesting Smart Art Table List diagram. Table List is probably one of the most commonly used diagrams in Smart Art because it is extremely versatile and it can be used either on a slide like this or it can also be included as part of a word document though this diagram is used quite extensively many presenters don't fully know about all the functions all the ways in which you can edit this particular diagram and that is the reason why we created this particular uh, video tutorial but before we go into the editability of the diagram let me give you a quick idea about the ways you can use uh, this table list diagram. You can use this diagram wherever you want to show one is to many relationship. You can talk about a factor and its comp components. For example, you can talk about first quarter results as the title here. And then you can talk about the key achievements in the months of January, February and March as part of the level 2. You can talk about one factor leading to many factors for example how interest rates have affected the real estate industry um, the construction industry and maybe the gold rates etc the same way you can also talk about how different factors affect lead to one result like uh, how poverty uh, lack of uh, hygiene lack of health lack of hygiene and the lack of nutrition have resulted in a poorer society and things like that. So there are many ways you can use um, this particular diagram called as table list wherever you want to use one is to many relationship. First let us see how the text is set up to create this diagram. As you can see here this diagram can only accommodate two levels of text. The title goes as level one text here and the components inside go as level two text. And usually you use the diagram where the level two are all of equal value. You don't usually differentiate uh, the values here. Okay, so first let us convert this particular text into a diagram and then we will talk more about how you can edit this particular diagram more. So right click, go to convert to smart art option and ignore all these options and go to more smart art graphics and we want to talk about list here and the list that we are talking about is table list and that comes under this one and we press ok and as soon as I do this the level 1 goes as title and the components go as level 2 now I can add my own color themes here maybe I am going to use this color theme and I can also apply different smart art styles and you can see how these uh, various styles will look once applied here in this particular place so this is what the smart art style that I'm going to use and it is called as uh, inset fine now let us talk about the editability of this particular diagram the first thing is it is one of those smart art diagrams where there is no limit to the number of level 2 text you can have for example if I want to add another shape here I can enter another uh, bullet point here and it will automatically accommodate and I can keep on adding the only limitation is the readability of the text here so otherwise there is no limit to the number of uh, shapes that you can add to this table list diagram the second thing is if you were to think about how this text is arranged if you add, if you want to add another I mean sub bullet points here as part of the group you can do that by adding another level here for example I want to add another level here and that goes in as the points here inside okay so whenever you add third level that goes in as a sub bullet point inside the second level so that is one thing that I want you to note first let us uh, delete this one and let us go back to the regular one the next thing is you can always interchange the position of these 
by going to move up or move down for example i want to move this up so i'm going to use move up and you can see that this one has come as the first option and this one has come as the second option and if i want it to go back again i go to move down and this can be interchanged the same way you can have the first box and the last box exchanged by going to the right to left option another thing is if you want to use this promote or demote functions uh, let us understand how it works now if i were to use this particular one called as demote function this text goes as one of the sub bullets for this particular box so let me do that demote and you can see here the first box now becomes the main body content and the second box content has gone into this as sub bullets and then let us uh, go back to the situation again and whenever i use a particular text as promote then this becomes level 1 text and everything else gets wiped out for example i do this and you can have i think there's some issue here maybe let me try this again yeah so i cannot use that on the previous one i just have to make sure that the next box is to be selected and the previous one becomes the level 1 text and go on I, since this is a function that you hardly use i think it is uh, not really worth noting so these are the various ways in which you can edit this particular uh, diagram generally one is to many relationships are very commonly used in business presentations as a business presenter you would like to use options which are not so commonly used like this particular smart art because this diagram is used so much that it has become kind of very cliched uh, in any business presentation i wish to show you some example templates taken from our powerpoint ceo packs volume 1 and 2 that show the same one is to many relationship but in a in a far more engaging and visually interesting manner this is one such example one leading to many relationship and you can see here how one factor is leading to many and of course you can always copy this and add more factors it's completely editable this one shows four results from one idea as you can see here this is the core idea from where the four results are coming in and we have used 3d uh, option in powerpoint to make sure that uh, the diagram looks visually appealing of course every single aspect of this can be edited and this is another example where we show multiple outcomes from one core factor here we have used bevel to add visual interest and here is another last example where we show one leading to many outcomes to show with 3d bevel options so there are far more interesting ways to show one is to many relationship than using just a table list diagram however when you use table list diagram you can refer to this particular video to see how are the what are the various ways in which you can edit the particular diagram if you are a busy business presenter who who doesn't have the time to create such professional looking graphics for yourself then you can always take a look at our powerpoint ceo packs volume 1 and 2 the two ceo packs have more than 1600 fully editable charts and graphics for ceos and business presenters Just choose the template that matches your thought and replace the sample text with your own text and your business slides get ready in no time. Creating professional quality business slides has never been easier. Hope you liked our tutorial. If you want to learn more such tutorials, please visit us at presentationprocess.com. There are tons of useful articles, videos and tutorials to help you improve your presentation skills and PowerPoint skills. Thanks a lot for watching the video and happy presenting.